Hello, 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 everybody, and welcome back to some more Lysara. Or, uh, not welcome back, actually, welcome to a new stream of Lysara Summit Kingdom. Uh, I don't know why my webcam isn't showing up. Hold on a second. Let me, uh, let me find it. Deactivate, activate, and there we go. Hello, welcome. <laughs> Here I am. Uh, yes, but welcome to a Lysara Summit Kingdom. Um, we played this a long time ago, the uh, the demo version of the game. Um, I don't remember like how long those sec uh, sessions were, but I believe we could play it for quite a quite a while. Uh, but yes, it is now in early access. It released yesterday out of nowhere. Um, they did not announce it anywhere. Um, that they were gonna release it, so uh, that's, uh, that's pretty exciting. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna be playing it today, and I'm looking forward to it, because it's very similar to, um, to games like NO1800, NO and of course other city builder games, but instead of being like islands or just one big landmass, it is a massive mountain, as you can see, with different plateaus, uh, where you can find different resources in each one and it's pretty cool uh, super excited I believe there's also different maps there's a bunch of different maps I believe uh, with different difficulties and more or less resources so um, yeah that should be a whole lot of fun I'm looking forward to it looking forward to playing this game uh, here we go let me change that one and I think we can just go back into the corner there as per usual there you go otherwise I'll move it later again I guess all right let's start playing the game new game all right the campaign is not yet available that's fine uh, we got standard challenge or free build Good to see everybody here, by the way. I see we have Bill, Rian, Raptor was uh, said hi. <laughs> and uh, Chunk loading. Hello, it's been a little while, Chunk. Welcome back, welcome back. All right, what a standard. Choose from, a, from a various mountains differing in shape and conditions and play a standalone adventure, each with different sets of objectives. Okay. A challenge. Short and difficult scenarios, testing your optimization and managing skills, as well as your knowledge of the game systems. And free build, no money balance to look out for, no needs. All right, just creating something beautiful. Awesome. I like that when games add a, um, a free build thing or like a creative build thing. That's nice. Just kind of build away, make a beautiful mountain without having to worry about Feeling the needs of people or the resources or whatever. <laughs> That's nice. All right, but we're gonna do standard, I guess. And looks like finish this mission to unlock the other mountains. Okay. So yeah, looks like we have to complete this one first. Hope Spark Hill, and then we'll unlock all the other ones. Ooh, smothering flame. That sounds dangerous. Sounds pretty cool. All right, let's start it up. Oak Spark Hill, our very first outpost in the high mountains. Vegetation balanced, uh, resource deposits, copper, available to import salt, dye, perfumes, and gold. We can import those, okay. Uh, we can export butter lamps. Okay, butter lamps, interesting. <laughs> no rivers, rivers not preset, all right. So it seems like some of these might have a river then. Cool. And uh, avalanche is standard, it says. Can't see that right now. My webcam's in front of it. I apologize, but all right, it doesn't matter. Let's start it up. Of all the years in the long and storied history of the kingdom of Lysara, this one surely has to be the worst. Following the harvest, a mysterious mist suddenly appeared all across the kingdom. Then, the pandemonium started. Crops started to fail. Disoriented animals barely produced any milk. People started to get sick. Hey, Solar. 
and you can't see anything. The fog in this valley is even worse than the city. For all we know, we could be lost already. Faith, my friend, have faith. We're following the path that's been chosen for us. Path? I don't see any path. Just the same damn forest going on for days. It's not entirely the same. Look, there are more and more pines, and the thickets are thinning out. We are getting higher. We'll get to the upland shortly. Even if that's true, what will we find there? Mark my words, mountains are no place for humans. Yes, but they are a place of the spirits. We will settle at the foot of the mountain and make our way up to build a grand altar at the very summit. The spirits surely will recognize our efforts and help us to drive the mist away. And Lysara will be saved. Yeah, that's great and all, but did you see how low on supplies we are? Never mind building a temple, we'll die of hunger before even reaching the top. Come on, it won't be that bad. Look on the bright side. Mountains we'll be fine. Be missed, so we'll be able to cultivate crops and pasture our yaks again. Mm, maybe. Until the first avalanche sweeps us all away. Stop worrying about minor details. We're on the most sacred quest, and nothing will stop us. Onwards. Cool. I like that. It's a nice little introduction to the game. And Mondoza, good to see you as well. Solder, yeah, you remember this game? Yeah, we played this uh, this demo uh, a while ago. Um, so yeah, it should be it should be fun to finally play it for real. What's the worst that could happen? Exactly. Oh wow, it looks so good. Finally, a place above the mist, and with enough space to establish a small colony. A small one? How about a big one? Uh, it will serve as, uh, serve as an outpost when we move on to bigger mountains. Oh. I guess it makes sense. We need to maintain contact to the capital in case they need to come and save us. Nonsense. We'll achieve great things in these mountains and this small settlement will be, the f uh, will be our first step. Let's start by building a district for our workers. Cool. All right. Yeah, I really like that they gave a little uh, like backstory to like why they are on the mountain. That's pretty ne pretty neat. See, so, yeah, that is the story. So uh, the mist appeared, and crops started dying. Animals de disorientated, didn't want to give any milk anymore or eggs or whatever, and uh, that's why they had to go to the mountains, go above the mist. I like that. Cool. There, here is the la uh, the very, very, very long ladder or stairs or whatever that is. <laughs> All the way up to the mountain. Uh, is that where we started? What, where did we start? Oh no, we started over here. There you go, here's another one. Alright, cool. <laughs> and Shroud is prequel? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Maybe it's the same universe as Entrouded. That'll be cool. Alright. Uh, default bindings. WASD. Right click for camera movement. Right, yep, yep. Um, mouse scroll. Zoom in and out. Yep, you can zoom in quite far, which is nice. You can really see all the people and stuff walking around when we, when we have them. Let's pause the game for a second. Um, hold mouse wheel. Oh, yeah, that is this for overview camera. I really like this being able to like go around the entire mountain like this. It's pretty freaking sweet. Yeah, we want to go there. <laughs> All right, cool. You can customize camera controls and choose an alternative alternative camera in the gameplay settings. Sweet. You yeah, can change the game speeds. Pause, unpause. Uh, let's first place a food market. It will be a central point of our settlement as it serves, uh, distributes food among the citizens living nearby. All right. Food market. Well, shall we place it? 
We can just place it anywhere, it looks like. Uh, so we'll place it... I don't know how big the houses are going to be. So how many tiles I like I need above it. Do it like right, right there. There you go. That'll be good, I'm sure. All right, unpause, continue. Uh, see the marker above the food market? It means the building doesn't have a road connection. Oh boy. Well, we can't have that. Do we need a road connection? Let's start over there. There you go. Perfect. Now we do have a road. Keep going that way. Keep going maybe that way as well. Not sure if we can build anything on top of that, but let's uh, let's go around it. I always like to go around my markets in games. I don't know why. All right, cool. Uh, so that creates a connection between the mountain's entry point and the market. Good. Um, every settlement needs workers. Building houses increases the town's population. Yeah, that makes sense. After building a house, it becomes inhabited instantly by four citizens willing to take jobs. Awesome. We got some good workers. Oh, these are really tiny houses. Nice. All right, so it's... Uh, how big are these? How many tiles? Two by two looks like. Yeah, it looks like a two by two. So we can build three in a row there. Awesome. Pretty cool. Thanks for putting the merch in the chat there, Solar. Appreciate it. All right, so we got a couple of those now. Uh, oh, we need 32 lowlanders living within the range of the food market. All right, so we have a lot more to make them. Let's build a, build a couple more. Um, let's build that over here, maybe. We cannot do a fourth one right there. Yeah, and these ones need another road then up there. Understandable, understandable. We'll do that one right there, perfect. Wonderful. All right, so that's already... Oh, we already have enough. Wait, why do... <laughs> Why does it say 36 out of 32 here and here it's... Okay, yeah, okay, 28 unemployed, eight workers. Okay, I see, I get it. The very first settlement settlers on the mountain. That's great. We should take care of their basic needs, like shrines. They have, uh, they need to have spots where they can pray if, uh, to the success of our mission. I, me I meant providing them with food. Well, we can do that too, I guess. But spirituality comes first. Sure, sure. Makes sense. Spirituality is more important, right? Oh, nice. These are really tiny shrines. Only a one tile. Awesome. So we can place a bunch of those around. Um, all right. Well, we don't have any other spot for a shrine here or for something here. So let's do a shrine there. How many do we need? Provide 32 lowlanders with access to praying shrines. Oh, you can see the road. You can see the um, area of effect. On the shrine? Let's see. So if we build this one right here, then we have then all of them have access to it. There you go. Nice. Awesome. That's good. I like that. Alright. Click in the lowlander's hut. Sure. Alright, what now? Here you can see both the already fulfilled needs and still demanded ones. Needs are divided into three categories, food, prosperity, and enlightenment. This bar shows how many uh, and which category needs you must fulfill to make sure your citizens, uh, to make your citizens willing to upgrade their home. Okay, I see. So we need a, a yellow shrine thingy, I guess. I guess that is a shrine. And then three types of food. Either three types of food or just three food. I guess. Close the house menu. Alright. Uh, start by building a chicken farm. Chicken farm? Why not yuck? I want a yuck farm. Yak farm. Whatever. Um, egg production. Chicken farm. Requires three lowlanders. Four coin upkeep. And construction cost initially is 20. 
Production is 4x. Alright. Where are we going to place that one? Alright, it has to be in range of the market, I assume. Make sure the chicken farm has a... Uh, has the food market within its range. Yes. Yes, if I build it here, it's fine. If I build it here, it's fine. If I build it here, it's just too far away. Alright, so let's do this one right there. Perfect. As far as possible. There you go. Chicken farm is now producing eggs. Uh, but uh, as indicated by the icon, it's not sending them anywhere. Right, yeah, you need to hold left mouse button over the chicken farm and point to the food market. There you go. So now they are bringing the resources to that market specifically. And if I had another market, I could bring it to them instead. Right. Cool, cool, cool. So now the market is getting eggs. You see that right here, yep. Resource income and consumption. Consumption is 3.6 and the income is 4. So we we have 0.4 extra eggs every, like, cycle, I guess. Um, so yeah, that's why, you, that's why you can send it to other markets as well, because at some point you're gonna have to, like, split it up between two markets, right? You can send two of them to one market, two of them to the other. I'm guessing is what you can do. I believe so. I'm not sure. It's been a while since we played that demo. Um, let's increase the food variety of our folks uh, and provide them with um, a sampa? Sampa, a flour made from barley. Uh, using a mill, turn barley from barley fields to sampa. I'm probably not pronouncing that right. <laughs> um, as with all other food, can be distributed to a food market. Right. A single mill is capable of handling production output from multiple barley fields. From multiple barley fields. That right, is good. So, uh, Sampa production. We got barley field and we got a mill. Nice, nice, nice. This can turn 24 barley into 12 flour, Tsampa. And production per zone. Hmm. Right, yeah, so the different elevations also determine how well the barley is being produced. In the green zone where we are right now, you'll get six with, with two something um i'm not sure what that is <laughs> in the yellow zone you get four and three and in the red zone you get two and four hmm. again i'm not sure what what that is oh that's hay maybe yeah provides barley and hay all right yeah so in the green zone you get more barley and in the red zone you get a lot more hay Okay. That's good to know. That's good to know. Okay, but we want to have... We want to have this one. Um, I guess we... As long as we have the mill... Accessing the food market, I think that's fine. Can we rotate these? I remember during the uh, demo... There was something that I wanted to do, but I couldn't. I don't think that's a thing, because that because it was difficult to it was difficult to like um, make the buildings rotate because of the angle of the mountains and stuff. Like it would look very different the uh, the building, right? So that that makes sense. But I was kind of hoping that they added it. Would have been nice. All right. Anyway. Let's place this mill right there. There you go. And now we'll do the barley fields. I guess uh, over here to the side. There you go. We can do that one there. One there. I'll do another one. I cannot do another one there. But I'll do a third one maybe. Because it can handle 24 total. 
So let's do four. Because one of them makes six, right? So that's this is 24 total now. And let's send it to the mill. And then from the mill, we want to sell, sell it, uh, send it to the market. There you go. Awesome. Boom. Done. Housing upgrade. With three needs fulfilled, citizens are happy enough to upgrade their housing. You can do that by clicking the button above the house. Alright, easy enough. Ooh. Look at that. Oh, <laughs> I wanted to zoom in more, not zoom out. Look at that, it's quite nice. You can see somebody... I wish you could zoom in even further. It would be nice if you could zoom in even further than this. To see them on the roof, working on their roofing. Somebody hanging on a ladder there, almost falling down. <laughs> you can see another person. You can see another person down there, like screaming at the person almost falling down. <laughs> Pretty funny. Yeah, I would like to be able to zoom in even further. That'd be cool. Now right, let's upgrade this. There you go. Looks like it's the exact same thing, though. Like, here's the dude with the ladder falling down. Yeah, I would like to see a bit more variety there, if possible. Maybe switch it around at least, every now and then. Alright, have eight huts, level two. I need to upgrade two more. I'll upgrade a third one as well, why not? <laughs> there you go, we have an extra. Splendid! Looks like the lowlanders are happy here. Uh, they will be the backbone of our settlement's economy. Good. Uh, yeah, but the artisans won't be satisfied so easily. They are used to a certain standard, you know. But if we want to progress, we'll need them for the manufacturing skills. I'm sure we can somehow make them comfortable too. Alright, so now we're gonna go over to the artisan district. Look, this seems like the perfect place for an artisan district, if you ask me. We can try, I guess. Alright, cool. Alright, let's connect the region via a bridge. See how we can do a bridge right here. Unfortunately, we we cannot do it like anywhere. Like, it would have been, been great if I could do it like right here. But it does not seem possible. We could do like there and then connect up to a couple of different locations, looks like. That's quite nice. So you do have... A lot of options to go from one location to like the other side of the mountain that's quite nice multiple different options there I, I think I will go let's see what what shall we do what shall we do let's destroy this then I want to go from here maybe yeah we'll go from there there you go and then we'll start there and then we'll go down to... Should we go down to the middle area? I'm not sure if it matters. Let's go down to the middle area there. There you go. Cool. Nice. Now we have a bridge. Oh, <laughs> didn't mean to do that. <laughs> now we have a bridge going like that. Sweet. Cool. Connect the regions. Artisans are low... After lowlanders are another social cast. They are helpful with running more advanced buildings. True, true, okay. Lowlanders artisans. Build artisan district in a newly reached region. Have 40 artisans living within the range of a food market. All right, cool. So yeah, we'll have to build another food market then. Uh, let's, uh, let's just do it like this. Let's get ourselves a food market built. Somewhere in the middle. Over there is probably a pretty good spot right there. There you go. Good. And then a residential area. Artisan housing. There you go. Now, I think I think it was possible to use um, to use the lowlanders in the other region. Like they could work in another on another plateau as long as it was connected. So I think that is possible, but I, I don't fully remember. Let's build one, two, three. One, two, three. Um, and we'll have to do another one, two, three. 
One, two, three. We need a lot more than that, but it's a start. There you go. Start right there. You can have it keep going over there. Uh, do we want to do that? Yeah, sure, why not? We can do two more over there. Oh, wait, we already have enough. Oh. I thought we needed more, actually. How many are living in one house, then? Is it four as well? Okay, cool, cool, cool. Didn't realize. Sweet. Uh, okay, let's fulfill some artisan needs. Providing them with, a f with food and access to enlightenment facilities like you did at Lowlanders. Note that the artisans are harder to satisfy, so this won't be enough to upgrade their houses. Okay. Fill the upgrade bar progress halfway in 10 artisan housing. Okay. So yeah, for artisans we need a whole lot more than just food and um, religion. We need a little bit more. Alright, let's do some enlightenment. Let's make do our do a um, altar over there. Alright, I will get a couple of them. If I do one more house, we could do one over there. Do one over there. Does it cost anything to actually build this one? It costs upkeep, yeah. Yeah, it's it's a little bit of an upkeep cost. Alright, cool. That's fine. That's alright. Now what I wonder is are there multiple like one tile buildings? Because if there's multiple one-tile buildings, that would be great. That'd be very useful here. All right. For now, I think I will do this and this, and then I can place multiple one-tile buildings here if necessary. But for now, I will do one. Let's see that one. That one gets most of that. This one gets the top there. Yeah, so I only need those three buildings there. Need to make sure we get those. Um, so this is not like the, a great spot for it, honestly. Let's put it on the other side instead. We can have it on both sides, I guess, if there's multiple of those buildings. There you go. Do not alter there. Perfect. Lots of variety. A lot of different places. Alright, now we need some more food. Um, so we need an egg production, of course. We could almost fit that right there. It would have been perfect. Uh, let's see, what are we going to do there? Wait, can we not build this here? Or can we? Wait, I'm confused. Oh, wait, that was the wrong building. I had the wrong building still, uh, I see. <laughs> okay. I was very confused there for a second. Yeah, so yeah, the chickens can fit here if I want to. Uh, or I can do them there. Do they mind living right next to them? Hmm. That's a good question. I don't know if they mind. Um, I mean, it's not really my problem, is it? <laughs> uh, well, I mean, I guess it, it is a little bit. All right, let's see. Let's, um, how many do we need? We need at least one. All right, that one reaches the market perfectly. Yeah, let's do that one right there. Let's do this one right there. Let's only have two of them. Then we definitely have enough. We can transport those over there. There you go. Both of them are connected. So we have, yeah. They needed more than one, right? Because one chicken farm makes four eggs and they need 5.2. So we definitely needed two of them. Perfect, wonderful. All right, so that is, um, they're, they're making that. And then we also need the barley production again, of course. Um, let's see, where are we gonna do that one? 
Where are we gonna build that one? I guess we could maybe do that. What is the range on that? Just too far away. That works. Let's see. Let's build a road going down. See how far we can go. We can go down pretty far. Oh yeah, we can go pretty far with that. Awesome. Alright, well in that case, I'm gonna do... That is too far. Do one there, one there. We'll do that one there. And another field, and... And another field. And I will connect this up like that. Now we have a little bit of... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> and we have a little bit of extra space over there for something else. Maybe another mill? There you go. And uh, not in range. What do you mean out of range? What do you mean not in range? It's right next to it. <laughs> what do you mean? It doesn't make any sense. Alright, hold on. It makes no sense at all. Alright, hold on. We gotta fix that. There you go. So we'll do that. We'll do that. That's kind of strange that it wasn't connected for some reason. It was too, too far away. Um, there you go. Some difficulty with that. Alright, there you go. Perfect. Now it works. See, so yeah, we do need a... Um, it, it, it doesn't go that far, the range of, of these buildings. This works. Perfect. Alright. So we've completed the halfway mark for the artisan homes. Good. Oh, these houses are actually not getting to the food market. It's actually too far away. Ooh, I didn't realize that. Okay. Uh, then what we actually might want to do is destroy that one. Destroy that one. And then we'll have to connect this up. Still not getting there. Ooh, okay. That's unfortunate. Um, then... Like this. There you go, that works. Okay. See, so we definitely gotta keep an eye on that. Definitely gotta keep an eye on it that they can actually reach it. Alright, cool. Uh, consumption is good. We, we, got, we got way more Tsumpa than we need. And we also have way more eggs than we need. Alright, so that's good. I, the, the egg consumption was a lot higher before. Maybe that was because we didn't have the barley? Oh, that could be it. Maybe because you have multiple food sources, they need less of the other one. I mean, that does make sense, right? That's pretty cool. Alright. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, so what is next? Mountains are rich in natural resources. We can extract them using mines. Build a copper mine. All right, cool. How? Click. And... Oh, then we need to connect it up there. I see. Perfect. All right, nice. Too bad that I placed that chicken one over there. 
but it is what it is. And now we need to uh, we need yuck, looks like. Get some yucks to start copper production. Besides human workforce, some buildings also require yucks to operate. Build a yuck pass here to increase the town's yuck population. Yucks are uh, yucks as with other town denis denizens are assigned to workplaces automatically. Okay. Build a yuck pasture. Ah, yucks in the green zone give us a lot more yuck pastures. Cool, yeah. So it's best to make multiple of those down here, if possible. Um, does it need to be connected to something? I don't think we need to have it connected, per se. So we can build it far out. Uh, maybe like right here. Build it over here. Sure. There you go. So it gave us seven yucks. Yucks. <laughs> uh, with copper extraction up and running, we can use we can use it to make utensils in a coppersmith workshop. Utensils are highly desired goods, and goods are distributed to nearby houses from commodity suppliers. And so we need to build commodity commodity supplier now. Have commodity supplier with 40 artisan in a range. Start distributing utensils. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Um, so yeah, this one will have to right. It has to connect to the to the other thing. Commodity supplier. No better place to get some high quality goods. Literally, there is no other place. <laughs> uh, eight artisans needed. Forty upkeep. One hundred and twenty construction costs. Okay. All right. So let's build it where everybody can access it. Right there, it looks like, or over there. Perfect. Connect that up. Can distribute half finished product. Am I missing something? Oh, right. Copper utensil production. Ah, I see. Okay, so we got the copper mine there. And we got the copper smith. Got the copper smith there then. It also needs a yuck. We don't have enough of them, looks like. Ad hoc workers. What is ad hoc? Not enough. Workers eight, total seven, I see. You don't have enough workers in the city. Uh, so additional ones will be con contracted, which are super expensive. Oh. Yeah, we don't want that. So we gotta get ourselves some more yuck. There you go. And I, I like it. I love it that it extends. If you put two right next to each other. I love that it extends the like the field. That's so cool. I'm a big fan of that. Big, big fan. Oh. <laughs> keep, keep accidentally clicking the metal bounce button. And uh, going too far. Uh, compact Yak Breeder. Yak Utopia. Oh, what's that? Herbalist. Cedar Grove. Incense Maker. Beekeeper. Rock. Crystals. Perfumery. In a barley field. The hay dryer. And that all goes into a Yak Utopia. Wow. It requires 14 lowlanders, upkeep is 80, 200 construction cost. Uses fodder and perfumes to increase yuck population. 122 yuck population. Ooh. That is a lot of yuck. That's a whole lot of them. <laughs> Compact yuck breeder. Barley field. The hay dryer. That makes compact yuck breeder. Uh, four fodder for 20 yuck. All right. Research level two required though, so we can't do that yet. That's not something we can do yet. All right, supply over there. 
And that one can supply over there. Not in range. Oh, really? Is that one out of range? Are you kidding me? Rude. I mean, this one has enough range to get there, so that's kind of weird. Alright, that is very unfortunate. Um, Alright, then we'll have to, uh, have to destroy that one. And we'll have to build it over here instead. Or right next to it, maybe. Yeah, we'll do it right next to it, actually. There you go. Yeah. A utensil supply not meeting demand. Oh, okay. So yeah, we need more of them then. Four copper being produced, 100%. This one is using, it's receiving four, but it's only needing one to make five. Yeah, so we can make more of those buildings, more of the coppersmiths. All right, let's build another coppersmith then. There you go. We can build three more actually. Build one over there. Um, let's see. Is this one getting copper from that one as well then, or no? Not receiving input resources. So can we not send to multiple sources? Does that work? Oh, here we go. It's already explained here. <laughs> I just had to continue the tutorial. All right. It seems that there aren't enough utensils for everyone. However, a coppersmith uses only one unit of copper. This means that one single mine can supply multiple workshops. You can use a carrier post to divide the resource flow of to multiple buildings. Okay, carrier post is what I need. All right, so this one, distribution, carrier post. Your unofficial motto of the workplace, if you can carry it, it's not that far. <laughs> All right, cool. So then we place this one like over there, for example. We connect that up. All right. Then we need to stop sending there. We send it to that one. And then that one can send it to that one. And also... No, never mind. It's too far away. Alright, that's something to keep in mind. It's too far away. Um, over there then. There you go. That works. Yeah, but then that one can go there again. All right, wonderful. And now we have two coppersmiths making the utensils, sending it to the commodity supplier. And a commodity supplier sends it over to the people. Cool. Pretty cool uh, production chain there. But yeah, definitely need to keep in mind that you place it close next to each other. Or near each other at least. Here we go, that's the start. Hey, I've got an idea. Let's expand higher. The climate in the middle zones of the mountains is just perfect for bees and producing honey. Nice, you can produce honey. Have an operational shaft going up. All right, I mean, we can. Let's do it. Let's build a shaft going up. Um. Right there, I guess. Now we'll go up to... Let's see. I guess we'll go up there. Perfect. Wonderful. Very nice. That done. Uh, beekeeper is one of the buildings whose production uh, productivity depends on a mountain zone you place it in. I'll produce more honey up here on the middle zone. Yep, 
So three on the green zone, three on the snowy top area, which is not really on this building, looks like, this mountain. <laughs> I don't really see any snowy top. All right, well, there's a little bit over there, actually. Um, I guess this mountain only has two zones, looks like. Only the green and the, uh, the yellowish. There you go. Have two operational beekeepers in the middle zone. All right, we can do that. Beekeepers. Many wonder why bees are so picky about their surroundings. Our main hypothesis is that they really like the color yellow. <laughs> well, that sounds sounds good. Alrighty then. So let's build these ones right there. Two of them. Connect them up the road. There you go. And then we need to connect them to something else, looks like. The brilliant plan seems to have a flaw. Flaw? It's a perfect place for bees. You act like you got stung by one. <laughs> got him. Oh, open your eyes. How are we going to transport all this honey down? Relax. With the right attitude and an open mind, we can overcome any obstacle. How exactly will keeping an open mind help us transport anything? Oh, just you wait. Let's get my fellow monks here and they'll come up with a solution. All right, we're going to get monks up there now. Uh, enlightenment. I mean, academy. How many monks are needed to figure out how to use a card? Well, apparently a lot. <laughs> 38 monks needed <laughs> to figure out how to use a card. <laughs> nice. All right. Let's see. Monks dormitory. Rumor has it monks sleep hanging upside down like bats. But no one has been able to verify this yet. <laughs> cool. Alright, let's build... Oh, build some of these. Destroy. Monk dormitory. Get some more roads going. And I'm guessing we're going to need a food building as well then, of course, right? Yeah, we need sampa, we need honey, we need eggs, we need utensils. Alright. How are we going to get utensils up here? Can we transport it from down here to up there? Is that possible? Maybe. And a scholarship. All right, let's see. You can increase the research level of your town uh, to gain access to more advanced buildings. This is done by building a scholarship facility, such as the academy. However, it will grant research only when staffed, so you'll need monk dormitories. After an academy starts, op starts to operate, research level will take a moment to update. Have an operational academy. Cool. So yeah, we'll have to build um, that one, I guess. We'll build that one right. Oh, I like that the rock formation changes depending on where you place things. You can see a big rock right there, and then if I place this closer, it turns into smaller rocks. And even smaller still, and then they disappear. Pretty cool. Same happens to the trees. I like that. Neat. Alright, let's build this one right there. There you go. We don't have enough monks yet. But we will, eventually. We can make a monastery later as well. We need all these different things leading into a monastery. And we can make an incense production as well. Nice. Leading into a shrine. Cool. 
Do we need a praying place for them as well? I'm assuming yes. Yeah, of course. Of course. Alright, so let's build one of these bad boys. Do those. Um, haven't really planned this out properly. Um, we'll build one right there. That's fine. There you go. They'll make him happy. And we probably need a lot more of them. How many do we have right now? Yeah, we need 38 workers. We only have 24, so we need 40 more. So this is four each, right? This is one, two, it's eight, 12, 16. There you go. Now we have enough, apparently. And uh, I will do one more. Oh, it doesn't actually reach that last one there. That's unfortunate. Um, so I guess it's not the end of the world. I could, could have just kept that one there. There you go. And then praying place. And this one doesn't have access to that one either. It's too far away, right. All right, never mind. My glorious plan is not gonna work. It's fine, I tried. All right, cool, let's see. Long distance transport. Uh, at research level one, you gain access to a card post. It works like the carrier post, but isn't restricted by range. Therefore, it's perfect for long distance transport. Use it to send honey down to your artisans and finally upgrade their houses. All right, cool. So we can go distribution, hard post. Cards are not designed to support, to transport teenage humans uh, or teenage yucks for that matter, no matter how long they've been at the inn. Okay. Uh, I guess they're talking about like drunk teenagers. <laughs> Put that one there for now. And then we have to send the honey over there. And that one too. And then we'll have to send that one to the marketplace. There you go. Yep, and then their need for honey has been fulfilled as well. So how much honey does this make? Only one? It says it's making five. Five each. Let's see, beekeepers are bringing in ten. Oh, I guess it only brings in as much as it's, uh, as much as is necessary. So yeah, their consumption is is one point nine. So it's sending two because that's the maximum that they need, right? All right, cool. That's good to know. So, so they'll always send as much as they need. And then we can actually place... We place a food market here, of course. Because the monks need some food as well, I assume. So we can send more honey over there as well. There you go. Which means that now the monks have access to... Honey, I think. I think so. They should. And it's not coming in yet for some reason. Five being sent that way. Oh, right, you know what? Stop sending there. Let's stop sending to that one. Let's send this one immediately to the marketplace there. Oh, there you go. And, um... It's missing something? Missing lowland workers. Oh, we need some more lowland workers over here. Alright. Well, uh, let's, uh, let's get some of those. 
There you go. What's that? What does that mean? Since faction level dropped below the current upgrade requirements, receiving monetary relief. Why? Do we not have enough food? What's going on? Do we not have enough? You got the sound by and the eggs, no? Do we not have enough of them? No, it doesn't look like it. Alright. We need more eggs. Let's get more eggs. Uh, build another egg thingy right there. Build two of them, I guess. There you go, and that problem is solved as well. And they got enough eggs again. Sweet. And I guess we can also send off some honey all the way down there. Uh, it's not enough honey, though. So we'll need to make some more honey up here. Send that there. And now we're getting enough. Sweet. Now they're getting enough. We might need another one. As we're going to be upgrading those later. Let's build one more honey production right there. And let's get ourselves a little road going. To the post. And then let's upgrade these artisans, which is what we needed. Nice. Boom. Done. Nicely done. We've done some decent groundwork here. Uh, we're now ready to continue with our quest and travel to our first real mountain. High enough for the summit temple. Not so fast. We need a logistics point down here. And more importantly, a way to secure our financial situation. Oh, come on. Do you really need to deal with such trivial matters? We've got bigger things to pursue. Trivial? This whole endeavor is an insanely complex logistical operation, which could end in disaster in the blink of an eye. We have to make sure the treasury checks out, or that is the end of us. All right, so we have to build a treasury donation spot. Uh, features a hatch underneath, so there's low risk of breaking anything. What? Breaking anything? It's a Yuck Temple! Oh, I love it. A Yuck Donation Spot. Alright, let's build that right there. There's a lot of range, so you only need to build one in every location, it looks like. Start getting donations from citizens. We already almost have enough just from the artisans, looks like. Built that one over there. There you go. Now we have more than enough. Nice. Oh, we got a new spot here. This will be a good spot for a trading post. It will be easy to send resources further from here. Huh? What is that noise? Uh-oh. Oh no, an avalanche! Oops. Alright, forget about it. We're all gonna die. <laughs> Relax, no one got hurt. Actually, this avalanche wasn't even that huge. I bet we can still have a trading post in that region. You want to stop all this snow with a sheer power of your mind? Go ahead, I'll stay here and watch. Don't be stupid, we just need a few foresters to provide trees cover, tree cover, that should do the trick. Alright. So they need to build tree cover, avalanche protection. Now let's first make a bridge. Let's build a bridge from there all the way, all the way there. And let's get Avalanche Protection Forester. The key to grab it uh, to rapid tree growth is just hugging them a lot. <laughs> nice. Provides wood. Decreases power uh, of passing avalanches. Alright, so the wood production is lower on the higher zones. Uh, right. Global power of avalanches. 
As the time goes by and more and more snow accumulates on the snow caps, um, the more powerful avalanches will be. Avalanche cover visualization. This filter shows you which part of the town are protected from avalanches, but it is your job to determine where an avalanche may hit and where you need protection. Protect from weak avalanches. Okay, protected from weak avalanches. Protected from medium strength avalanches. Protected from most powerful avalanches. Alright, cool. Um, I mean, I don't see the filter or whatever that they're talking about. I guess it's because we haven't really built anything there yet. that one there oh okay so after you build it I see so is this weak avalanche protection then or is it strong avalanche protection can't tell yeah, but we're building a million of them so we should be fine <laughs> should be good right trading posts We'll do that one all the way down here, I guess. Right next to that. There you go. And... Okay, this, yeah, here's the wood production, right. So we can send that over to something. Operational forestry provides avalanche protection from buildings built below. Alright. We also got Mr. Plow. Uh, clears buildings within range of avalanche snow. An avalanche barrier blocks weak avalanches or more powerful ones already weakened by tree cover. Oh. Avalanche inducer decreases maximum power of nearby avalanches. Oh, useful. Yeah, but we can't do those just yet. We need level 2 research for that. So how do they research that? Do we have a menu for that? Citizens living in houses in range of access to the building. Academy increases research by level 1. Okay, so it's like automatic. You just build a higher level academy, I guess, every time. Um, yeah, academy plus 1. Now we need a monastery for plus three. What if we build a second academy? Do we then get another level? Is that how that works? Hold on, let me see. I know I don't have to do this. I know I have to do some other stuff, but I want to. <laughs> I want to see what happens if we build two of them. I think that might work. Not entirely sure. Alright, so we need five more yak, looks like. Let's do another yak pass here over here. There you go, another extendo. Now we need some more lowlanders. There you go. Some more lowlanders. We got enough yaks for the trading post. So that is working. And now we have research level 2, I believe. Which means we... Yep, we have... Oh, not available in the tutorial, of course. Darn it! <laughs> okay, but that is actually how it works. So yeah, if you built two academies, then you also have level 2 research. Which allows you to get the um, the plow or the avalanche barrier at level 2. But not in the tutorial. That's unfortunate. Alright, well, we tried. We tried our best. Alright. Have a fully operational trading post fully protected by avalanches. Or from avalanches. Here it comes. Ah, there you go. Nice. 
guys, it worked! The trading post is safe. I told you from the very beginning, there's nothing to worry about. And uh, now we finally are now we're finally ready to move on. Let's make our way to the first real mountain. Can't wait. There we go. To the first real mountain, y'all. Now which one is it gonna be? Yeah, this is just a tutorial mountain. Pretty cool. I'm having a lot of fun playing this game so far. Very nice. All right, which one are we gonna do? Wind slab, balanced vegetation, and we got copper, we got gold, salt, dye, perfumes. We can export cheese, coal, incense, and butter lamps. All right. Demon's rest. Ooh, that sounds fun. <laughs> Good for a start, apparently. Um, very limited space, but with not much fertile ground for farming. It requires careful planning. Alright. Contains rocky features, making dealing with avalanches a real challenge. And they come as powerful as ever from the very start. Get some warm clothes, because that's a difficult one. Powerful avalanches, yep. Some rivers. Some rivers in this one as well. Standard avalanches. We had copper rock crystals. Salt ornaments, perfumes, utensils, fish, and smoked meat. Amount plenty. All right, that seems like a good one for us to start off with, maybe. That looks pretty cool. Uh, balanced, uh, balanced vegetation. A huge mountain with lots of space and resources. If you want to go big with your town, this is the place. And we have copper, rock crystals, salt, gold. Got like a lot of different resources, looks like. We can import cedar wood, sampa, dye, and fodder. And we can get for export utensils. Butter tea and ornamented cedar. Tell on top. Oh, that looks pretty good as well. Good for a start. A good sized mountain with everything you'll need to establish a proper settlement. Yeah, looks like we got a lot of good stuff indeed. Wool as well. Painted cedar. Incense. Alright. Some rivers. Splintered soul. Oh, nice. It's like two mountains next to each other. Cool. I like that. Um, spacious mountain divided into two parts. One full of fertile land. The second filled with resource deposits. Nice. A smothered flame. Ooh, looks like a volcano. A uh, very dry environment with lots and lots of natural resources and plenty of space. No green zones, however. There's no green zones in this one. So you only got the yellow zones or the uh, very dark zones up there that we haven't been to yet. So that's interesting. All right, I think... Oh, avalanches do not occur. Oh, that's interesting. So this mountain does not have avalanches, uh, which I guess makes the game easier as well. You don't have to worry about that. No. Um, hmm. I guess we'll go for Talon Top. I, I liked Mount Plenty as it's uh, as it there's like plenty of space apparently. <laughs> But we should go for Talon Top, as it has everything that we need. And it's a good, good sized mountain, apparently, to start off with. So there you go. Let's go. Let's do that one. Uh, oh, we can do not as adept professional veteran. Ooh. Let's see. What are we going to do? Um, adept, maybe? A balanced experience requiring some thinking, but isn't too taxing. All right, let's do that one. Let's do Adept. <clears throat> I think I can do it. I think I can. 
All right. Let's do this. Ah, this is some serious mountain we've got here. It's not a home just yet, but surely we'll have all we need for uh, to establish a settlement. I don't know. There is so there's not much land suitable for efficient farming. Oh come on! It's not like barley won't grow a little higher. Have a little faith. I can't believe I'm saying this, but this doesn't look like the worst place possible. <laughs> it's got a little river, nice. Look at all the resource deposits. Hopefully we can run some decent manufacturing operations here. You know what, you're right. With a positive attitude, we can definitely make it work. All right. So yeah, it doesn't have a lot of farming locations, they say. Though it looks like there's plenty of green stuff to me. I don't think it's gonna be a problem. One green zone there. Two gr one green zone, a tiny one over there. There's a yellow zone, a very big yellow zone. And two green zones over there. So yeah, there's like... So there's like three bigger zones green and one tiny zone green. It's not too bad. I, I think there's plenty of space. I don't think we have to worry about anything. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Uh, shall we start there or shall we start down there? We should probably start down there. Yeah. Let's start down here. Cool. <clears throat> let's get this party started. Uh, let's build a little road up. Let's do a food distribution thing. I should have built this slightly different, but whatever, it's fine. <clears throat> Not a big deal. Um, all good, all good, all good. That way. And then let's get ourselves some eggs. Uh, where should we build those? We shall build those over there. Immediately building two of them. Lowlanders huts. indeed actually on these okay, that's fine looks pretty good 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 um let's see. what else then we need some more of the barley of course right need some of the sampa Cannot fit that over there. Yeah, you cannot fit two of them right next to each other there, unfortunately. That's alright. We'll do this, 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 this. And I will do one of these right down there. Bring those there. That one there. Perfect. Wonderful. Right, citizens with eggs, done. Uh, eight lowlanders, level two. Uh, we, we're getting to that. They'll need some praying location, of course. Almost all of them there. I'll do that one over there. That one over there. And I will do another one up there. There you go, perfect. We need some yuck apparently already. Wait, what do we need the yuck for? 
What building requires yuck already? Is it this one? Oh, I thought I didn't know the yuck um, was necessary for the mill. Alright, well, we now we do. Now we know. Can we place two of these next to each other? I don't think so. Not enough space for that. That is unfortunate. We kind of built them next to each other, but not really. We'll build one there, one there. That'll be good for now. Looks like we need some more lowlanders then. that up. Oh, yeah, it's gonna be full real soon. <laughs> That's fine, it's a start. Uh, let's see. What else can we do right now over here? Carrier post. Probably want to have that one as well, but not yet. Avalanche protection. Right, right, right. So, if I build this over here, does it protect, like, everything underneath there as well, maybe? I'm assuming yes. Okay, don't think I'll need the avalanche protection here. <clears throat> I don't think so. Maybe just in case. Let's do it anyway. We can do different road tiles as well. Oh. Dirt roads. Two per tile construction cost. Maybe not the most efficient, but completely free. Tempered roads. Decent type of road, allowing for faster movement, also increase building ranges. Which has an upkeep. And the paved road has a higher upkeep. Increased carrier movement speed and building range is twice as much as tempered roads. Ooh. That is useful, that's good to know. Alright, the tutorial did not explain that. Nice. Uh, Alright, avalanche protection. I want to do that one. So... Oh, an avalanche! Oh, perfect timing as, I pl as I'm placing those. <laughs> okay, but that avalanche, yeah, that the avalanche hits over there. So we don't have to worry about avalanches for this bit, I think. Ooh, we have some rock crystals deposit. Nice. Some copper up there. Very nice, very nice. From up there we got some gold, right? Yep, gold vein. Cool, 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 cool. Very nice. Uh, Alright, this one... Let's see. Gotta connect that up. Uh, connect it to the markings. Can't distribute half-finished product. Alright, so we don't... We cannot actually use this. I'm not sure what we can use the wood for. I'm not quite sure yet, actually. <laughs> uh, we'll find out, I guess. Alright. Um, so the artisans... Let's see. The monks are supposed to be in the yellow zone, right? I guess it doesn't really matter where you built them, to be honest. Because the workforce goes around the entire mountain anyway. Yeah, so I guess it doesn't matter. Let's connect this up. <laughs> it's a very odd looking bridge. <laughs> but it works. That's what matters. It works. Yeah, I think we need some more lowlanders as well. Let's get some more prepared. 
Um, we need something else to upgrade them as well. What are we missing? I thought we upgraded them before, just with uh, just with this. Just with the two of those. Oh wait, I did remove a shrine here. Let's put that one back there as well. There you go. Yeah, I was missing that one over there. We're missing something else to upgrade, like cheese, looks like. Cheese or fish, butter tea, honey, smoked meat. Utensils. That kind of stuff. For higher levels. Dava incense, Yuck Guardian, Gong, Summit Temple. Right, 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 right. Alright. Lots to do. Lots of stuff to do. Cheese production. So we need a Yuck Shack. And then a cheese maker. Lowland is four, Yuck acquired four, upkeep nine, construction. So we're making more milk down here and more wool further up the mountain. Let's go for the milk. How big is this building? Not that big. Uh, so let's build that one. How many produces nine milk? This one needs six. So if I do two of them, that's 18, then we can do three of these. So then we have plenty of cheese. If we do two of these ones right next to each other. Now what is the range on that? The range on that is pretty good. Yeah, so we'll do two of those. I'll build one of those. There. Oh, that shuts off like all of this area basically. I have to build that one somewhere else. Alright, that's fine. There you go. Nice. Now we got cheese. And these are leveled up. Which gives us a lot more lowlanders again. Oh, there you go. 86 now. 86 unemployed, that is. 150 total. That's a lot of them. A lot of copper can be found around here. We should take advantage of it. Copper is such a fine material. When you touch it, it feels cold. It means it drains temperature from your body very quickly. Now, I wonder if in the future it may be used for sending warm, maybe even other kinds of energy from long distances. What on earth are you talking about? Uh, I meant it's good for producing kitchenware. Ah, yes. No need to get ahead of ourselves. All in good time. Hmm. Oh man, I'm having so much fun playing this game. Also, I don't think I've said it earlier in the stream, but um, I got this. I got a key for this game from the developers, so thank you very much, of course, for, uh, for sending that one. I don't know if they're going to be watching this, but I very much appreciate it. <laughs> I did mention it on Twitter and stuff as well. And on Discord, I thanked them as well for it, so... Yeah, very much appreciated. I've been looking forward to playing this game for a very long time. So I'm glad that's out. Um, let's see. Right, 80 citizens of utensils now. Okay. 80 citizens of utensils. Might need some more eggs there. We have more space for a... We do if we remove the shrine. Then this one doesn't have the shrine effect anymore. Unless... Uh, 
Okay, there you go. That works. The improved roads. Ha <laughs> ha. Nice. Yeah, the improved roads make it so that the shrine over there is fine. Awesome. Then I want to move this egg facility over there. Good. I'm going to go down there. Might need to make an even better road. And I can put some more egg, egg, egg production over here. Um, yeah, it doesn't go quite far enough. But that is okay. Because we could also do a carrier post thing. Could also do that. Could also do a carrier post right there. And that would fix our problem. We can do a carrier post there. We can do egg production down here. There you go, let's build like two of them to the carrier post. And the carrier post can go down there to the market. And now we have plenty of eggs again. Wonderful. Looks like we still need a little bit more cheese there. Let's see. Oh yeah, we could make a second one of these. Yeah, we could make two of those actually. Or three of those even. And with the improved roads, these one can these ones can go quite far, looks like. Oh, actually not that far. Go there. Go there. Okay. Um could I build another one of those like over here if I remove this road? Would that fit over there? Cheese production. Oh, it does. Wonderful. Yeah. Um, so yeah, then we can send one of those over there. Not an input resource. What? There you go. There you go. Cool. Okay, so now we have two of these making. It's not very efficient. It would be better if I could send them to a carrier post as well, actually. It would be more efficient if I send them to another carrier post. And then the carrier post could carry it to the market. Or to the, um... To these things. Hmm. Yeah, it's not super efficient right now. Wonder. Can I place this one over here instead? Is that fine? Looks like that's working fine. Yep, just sending over everything to that one. That one is sending it to the market still. Awesome, good. Now we can place another. Another. Carrier post. Let's see, hold on. Move this building down there. Distribution carrier post. Uh, that is three tiles there. Yeah, that wouldn't quite fit. Not quite. It's unfortunate. Um. Hmm. Let me think. Oh, it can go all the way up there. 
I think I found a workaround. Okay. Stop sending that. Stop sending that. Let's send that to the carrier post. And the carrier post, we're sending it to those. And then we can make a third one. Third cheese maker. Up there. Do an improved road. We don't need an improved road, but it looks better anyway. Then we can send more to... Uh, for that one. And then from that one it can go to the marketplace. And from that one to the marketplace. And from this one to the marketplace. Nice! Good, so now we got a whole bunch more cheese as well. We got 18 cheese, 16 eggs, 12 um, of the Tsampa. Alright, nice. We're doing alright. We're doing alright. Awesome sauce. This is a thriving colony and we have a lot more food left, so that's perfect. Alright, let's move on to the next one. Let's get citizens some utensils. For which we need copper. So for copper... Uh, we need to go... Like this location. Can we get there from here? We can get that way. We can go up there and then that way. <clears throat> I guess that would work. Oh, and this copper over there. So we can go, yeah. To the side and then up. And then crossing again. Gotta go quite far to get that. <laughs> Hopefully it's gonna all connect properly. Alright, so let's go build a thingy up. Right there. Build that. Money balance turned negative. Oh, that's not good. Oh, because we used the improved road on this. Uh oh, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> we don't want that. Let's also build a... Uh, can we build a donation spot here? Oh yeah, there you go. Perfect. Perfect, a donation spot. Wonderful. We need some artisans for that, though. Yeah, that's giving us a bit, little bit more money. Need to get ourselves some more yaks. And some more of the uh, artisans, of course. Let's see. Yak breeder. Oh, an avalanche happened. Ooh, right over there. Alright, uh, we're good. We're good. Oh, that is something we have to worry about, actually, over here. Gotta keep that in mind. Will it destroy this, I wonder? I don't think so. All right, but now we need to build a little road. That way, I guess. So we'll do a basic road again. <clears throat> we'll build it right there. Uh, something like that. There you go. Cool. And then this is where we can get copper. Finally. Alright, cool, we made it. <laughs> we made it to where the copper is supposed to be. Let's see, how are we gonna do that there? I need a research level 2. Also do bees up here. Hmm. That avalanche, though. Let's build some monks up here first before we head on to that area. Let's build monks up here. Let's do some avalanche protection. Use when planning has failed. <laughs> 
There's buildings within a range of avalanche snow. Yeah, so we wanna we wanna do this one like over here a couple of times. So many of them. We checked a decent amount of the uh, of the mountain. Yeah, I think they'll be fine. I don't actually think we need it over here, over this bit. Let's actually get rid of those, because that's costing us a lot of money as well, right? I don't think we need it everywhere. I think we'll be fine like that. That's all connected now. Let's get ourselves a food distribution. Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five. And we could do a little uh, improved road surrounding the market for a little boost. And then I want to do monks here. Now we'll do regular roads again. Very nice. <clears throat> Let's see. And of course we're gonna need all that other stuff again for them. Um, we need a card post. But for that we need research, of course. And for research we need monks. Need this one. We cannot place that there, that's unfortunate. Um, very big. Takes up a lot of space. Very large. Place that one right there. Oh, wait, it has to be close to those, huh? Yeah, it has to be fairly close to those, actually. Didn't think about that. Didn't think about that. Remove that dirt road there. Yeah, no, but then they can't access them. Oh wait, no, I think there's a way. Hold on. I think there is a way. Hold on a moment. Let's see. I built that one over there. <clears throat> and then we do some more monk dormitories. Uh, wait, no, hold on. I'm doing the same thing as I did before. <laughs> monk dormitory there. And connect the road up there. There you go. So now that's connected. All right. Building manually disabled. All right. Because we don't have enough, I guess. I'd assume. Oh, this one doesn't have a road now. Of course. Ooh. This takes some careful planning. Um, let's see. What are we going to do about this? Scrap everything. Hmm. Some monk dormitories there. Nice. 
All right, that works. Um, and then we just have to build another road over here. Boom. Good. <clears throat> and then a road over here. And then enable building. Turn negative. Oh, that's not good. That is no bueno. Uh, but that's because we don't. Yeah, you know, we're hiring a lot of. We're buying a lot of people to help us out. So that is not good at all. We need more monks. Not sure how we're buying them or where from, but hey. It's a game, so. Now, let's see. What's the range of that? Right, we can still build a couple of them over there, it looks like. Good. Negative. It was negative already. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit too far, it looks like. We can make improved roads here. Does it help? No. Didn't help. It helps best road that's even more expensive of course right, but we do now have enough monks we now have four extra even there you go that's good let's start right, let's get us some more yaks maybe as well um we now have level yeah we have level one resource but we need level two preferably Need level two. Let's see. We could do a monastery wall here. Very nice. Oh yeah. What do we need for that painted sadar? How do we make painted sadar? Not sure how we make that yet. Need that one. We need Sadar Grove. We need Herbalist. We need a Rock Crystal. Oh jeez. So we need we need a lot of stuff for that. Yeah, we won't be able to do that yet. Definitely not. Uh, let's see. Can satisfy need for a wall. So the monks like to be walled on. Wall booth. <laughs> the monastery wall. Yeah, they like to be walled off. Keeps them safer, I guess, as well, maybe. Manda Mandala. Many wonder if all mandalas have to be oriented vertically, but the brave man who set off to ask the monks about this never returned. <laughs> Gonna have some upkeep. It doesn't only provide the need if it's actually enclosed all the way. Or maybe placing it nearby is enough. Looks like you do have to enclose this completely. Yeah, unsatisfied at the moment. Alright. Oh man, there's a lot to keep in mind. <clears throat> there's a lot to learn about this game for sure. I'm making I'm already making a lot of mistakes, I see. Definitely a lot of mistakes that I will need to learn from. Okay, um, yeah, I wanted the cart post. That is why we wanted those monks as well. Because now with the cart posts, we can transfer resources up and down the hill. Um, let's see. So yeah, this one is getting eggs. Which we can now 
Can we send that there? No, we cannot send it up there that way. We need to build the car post over here then to do that. Send those up there. And then those we can send up there to the monks. Oh, there's no need for this resource here. They don't want eggs? Alright, well, F you then. Uh, do they want... What do they want? What do they have a need for? Come on, show me. What, what do they want? Insatisfied. Tempa. And cheese and honey. Alright, yeah. So... I do want tempa. Um, send this one to there. Storing different resources. Tempa. Oh, you can only do one building at a time here? I see. Another one of those, then. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, we're losing money. Oh, no. We're losing a lot of money, apparently. Oh, no. That's not good. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, no. Big problems. Alright, we're we're doing better now. Alright. Slightly. We're going back up a little bit. A little bit. Okay, we need honey here. Let's get honey, because the monks can do that themselves, right? No, those lowlanders as well, but that's fine. Uh, yeah, we can have we can have those over here and build those over there. There you go. Nice. So now we have not a positive yet. Not yet. Actually, we should send this to. We can send this there, right? And then there. That way, nice. 5.2, yep. Awesome, awesome. Alright, 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 alright. We're getting somewhere. Build another one of those, build another one of those. More honey. We can five each. And then we can send this all the way down there. There you go. Now they're getting honey. Good. That's very good. And game over. Oops. We've run out of money. Uh-oh. We lost. All right, that's fine. Hold on. Uh, we can go back. Let's see. How long was that ago? That was, uh, that was like 10 minutes ago. Eight minutes ago. Uh, yeah, let's go back 10 minutes ago. I think that's fine. I think we can... I think we can save ourselves. Right, I just gotta make no dummy mistakes like I did before. Problem solved. Problem solved. Now let's immediately... Let's immediately... Get the card posts. And the honey things. Because if we do that immediately, then that will save us a lot of money. There you go. That one goes down there. That should keep them uh, somewhat more happy. Alright, we're still in the negative. Missing workforce penalty. Yeah, that's what's costing us so much. We're, we're paying more workforce 
We need those artisans. That's what we need. That's who we're missing. So if I do this one right here, right now. If I do that one there. And we get ourselves some artisans up here. Down there, I guess. There you go. Get ourselves a little shrine. second one over there it's fine there you go and there and then we have all the artisans that we needed sweet they were no longer paying for extra workforce there we just need a little, a little bit more yuck yuck pass here need two more of those Another two of those. We're wasting a little bit of space. And we're going down into the negative again because we need more lowlanders. Can we build more lowlanders? Build one more. Is this connected to the market? It is connected to the market. Wonderful. That's good. Yeah, but then we're still not going to have enough of them. So we'll have to build some more lowlanders over here then. Yep, we'll have to build some more over here. Nice. It will give us enough of what we need. And now we're back in the positive again. And let's immediately build another donation hub. Uh, let's see. Oh, that's a good place for it right there. Boom. Wait, turn to negative? How did it turn to negative? I, oh, there's, I guess there's quite a bit of upkeep. And we have artisans in the employed again. All right, let's get more artisans again. covered awesome and now we're making a lot more money 145 positive to get nice yep so that's fixed all of the issues that we were experiencing before the negative workforce that we had to pay for to make up for it all right so that's all solved now uh oh we how much how much honey are we getting we're still getting a 10 surplus so we can bring more honey down there there you go. So we'll get a little bit more money from that as well. And more happiness from that. Alright, now we can continue over here again. Nice. Let's see. Um, I want to do something with these. But I'm not sure what to do with them yet. But where do we send the woods to? Sense production. Yeah, I'm not sure what to do with that wood. Bring it just to the market. It's a, it's a half product. You cannot do anything with that, apparently. It's a later game item, perhaps. Hmm. 
Maybe we need it for smoked meat. We need to, like, burn the wood. Ah, yes. There you go. Forester. Charcoal pile. Salt mine. Goat farm. And smokehouse. Ah, there you go. Yeah, we don't need any coal yet for a while, I think. I don't think that is a necessity anywhere. Is this coal? It's decoration, it looks like. But they do have a need for smoked meat. And butter tea. Can we fulfill these even more? Let's see. We need prosperity, right. And enlightenment. Now, an enlightenment is of course from... From this one. From the academy. Yeah, but we can't build that anywhere nearby, unfortunately. We won't be able to build that there. It is what it is. Oh, an avalanche! Oh no, is it working? Hey, it worked. Awesome. Alright, cool. So that is protected, luckily. That helps, those two. Whew. I may have built a little bit too many of them. Um, let's get rid of this one. Let's get rid of this one. There you go. It'll save me a little bit. Uh, and then, let's see. Yeah, we needed tempo, we needed the smoke, we needed the butter tea. We needed copper, that's all we needed. That's what we came up here for. I completely forgot we came here for the utensils. Kept getting distracted. All right. Build a mine. Right there. There you go. Getting distracted. Connect that. All right. And then that goes. Ooh, bathhouse. River nearby. Oh, sweet. We can build a bathhouse. That's probably good for the um, the artisans. Decorative trees. Lots of upkeep. and gets most of those, if not all of those. Not that one. Yeah, most of them. So now we need more food. We need enlightenment. Are they not getting enlightenment from this? Oh wait, no, that gives scholarship. Right, okay, so enlightenment is something else again. Enlightenment can be gained from... Oh, I guess enlightenment is just anything within this. Enlightenment access, right. Right, 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 right. Yes, like this one already provides that, I would assume. Right? Oh yeah, there you go. That helps. Praying place, need is satisfied. Good. And then we need a food. So we need one more food. Either the butter tea or the smoked meat. Uh, I don't know how to get any of them. Let's see. Yeah, we don't have the research level for that yet. 
Okay, but now I keep getting distracted. <laughs> Let's see. Commodity supplier. Um, Alright, we need that supplier. Like for any of our citizens. Um... Yeah, let's build that supplier over here, I think. Right? I don't know if it can reach over there. We, we definitely cannot build it there. There's not enough space. Let's build a commodity supplier there. That's where the tools have to go to. And then we can make copper utensils. So we can make four of these copper smiths in one mine. Right? Um, and then start with a card post. Which means we need some more artisans again. Problem solved. And then a coppersmith. Which also... Oh, it also requires artisans? I thought it would be um, the other ones. Alright, that's fine. Alright, that one goes... There... Actually, no. That one... Hold on. <clears throat> that one needs to go to a carrier post, actually. Yeah, that one needs to go to carrier post, and then that one to multiple to smiths, and then that one can go to that. And then this one... ...can go there. Oh, it's already done! It's already enough? What, for real? It already gives them all the utensils that they need? Oh wow, alright, that was easier than I thought it would be. Yeah, we still need more artisan again. Um, yeah, the shrine is in a terrible spot. Luckily, you can easily move things. But it does help somewhat. It does help a little bit. We're gonna have to do another carrier post here. <clears throat> From carrier post to market. Not enough resources. So now they need more eggs. Which I don't think we can get. Not down here, anyway. Yeah, not down here. But that's fine. Because we'll just get more what, road connection. Let's get more X that way. Cool. Level up. And how are we doing over here? Not meeting the demand. I need more utensils. 
Okay, so now we need more of these coppersmiths. We do four, even though it's a bit much. And then those all there. Do these need uh, utensils? Yes, they do. Oh, there's not a commodity supplier here, of course. Yeah, right. Got to build that one. I forgot. Um, does that go? Yeah, I think it doesn't matter. Yeah, you just built that one over there, and then that one is a pretty big range. You can get almost all of them. Good. Oh, we're losing money because we don't have enough artisans. Oh boy. <laughs> the struggle is real. Alright, hold up. Hold up. Alright, we got our artisans again. Oh, but we're using the expensive roads. Yeah, let's lose, use the cheap ones. And we actually downgrade these. Wasn't necessary. There you go. It's a little cheaper again. We're still losing money. We're still losing money right now. Um, alright. Yeah, we have a surplus of 11. Uh, I would like to bring them over there as well, but I don't think that's going to be possible because you just don't have enough space for it. <clears throat> just don't have enough space for it. Um, let's see. If I build more yuck things... I want to build the compact one. I guess 14. We need level 2 research for that. And fodder. It's a hay dryer. Don't have that yet. But yeah, we, uh, we gotta hurry it up. Because we're losing money. We're losing money right now. Now, this is uh, temporarily a yuck pass here over there. This is a couple more yak. And then we still also need more artisans again. Oh, and accidentally using the expensive one again. All right, good. That makes us more money again, but we're still, we're still negative. Hold on. I don't understand this one. I guess this means it's going up the treasury, right? <clears throat> yeah, I think we're making a profit right now. I think we should be fine. I think we're alright. Consumption and all those is good. We need to send Tempa somewhere else. Or make it somewhere else. Make a Tempa production here. There you go. 
go. Good. <clears throat> and that one I want to send to... One of these card those things. And that one can go there. So now we're creating that. Good, we only need a little bit here. That's something. And we also need more... Wait, what? <laughs> I thought we were back in the positive. Did I miss something? Uh-oh. Alright, let's do... Uh, how many minutes ago is that? It's four minutes... Two minutes ago? Alright, let's see. What, what did we do wrong? <laughs> back in the positive weren't we i guess this cost us a lot of money that we just did we didn't have enough of the lowlanders maybe yeah it's probably it we didn't have enough lowlanders probably all right hold on let's pause then uh, all right because we, we have to do this we have to do this uh let's see where do we start yeah, that one. I'm gonna build it exactly the same as I did before. That one, that one, that one, that one. And uh, already on the road. Need a road. Need a guard post. Need to bring these over there. That one there, that one there. And then I also want to bring this one over there because they need some tempo over there. There you go, that makes them happy. Good. And we can upgrade these. We have some level twos. We're still in the negative. Because we don't have enough artisans or lowlanders. Um, get rid of that one, that one, there you go, that's enough artisans, then we can build one <laughs> lowlander here, one lowlander there, don't think that's going to be enough, nope. Oh boy. Oh boy. Let's see. Can we fix it? <laughs> it doesn't have a road connection. Oh man, this is tricky. We're wasting a lot of space down here and in this corner as well. Unfortunately. In this bit. I guess we could do some of them over here. But we wouldn't have any food for them here. Not really. Alright, on pause. Back to the deposit. For the moment. We need 20 revenue for another lowlander's hut. That just let it roll for a little while. Alright, it is going up, I think. I think we're doing good now. Just need to let it roll for a little bit. Need to get some positive treasury. I got myself some tea. <laughs> Are you guys enjoying this? I'm having a lot of fun playing this game, even though I'm messing up a little bit. <clears throat> we live and we learn, right? 
but I'm having a lot of fun playing this game. I'm enjoying it a lot. So when is this going back up again? Yes, it is already. And no landers out there, so we can build another one. There you go, now we have more positive income because now we have enough lowlanders. Good. And now we can send eggs up there. There's no surplus there. I have everything that I could ask for, I guess. I cannot send it up there. It's too far. Can we sell multiple? Oh, it's too far as well. Oh, they don't have a surplus here anyway. We'd have to make eggs up here. Which is much less efficient. And I don't really want to do that either. Because uh, I wanted to do another monastery up here. Another academy, I mean. That's what I wanted to do. Oh, avalanche. Ooh, an avalanche over there now. Ooh. Cool. <laughs> yeah, we don't have to worry about that one though, luckily. Luckily we don't have to worry about that one. This game is pretty tricky. I'm loving it, having fun. Let's upgrade these, get more monks. Which also gives us more income. Looks like we may need some more honey and some more temp, I guess. Possible. We'll need to get that from somewhere else because we're not going to get enough of that. <clears throat> need to go to another green area to get more. And there was also a tiny one over there, right? Yeah. A real, real tiny one. Not sure how that's going to help us, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, we got another one there. And I guess we can make hay here and also otter stuff. Like, we don't need to do it in the green zone, per se. But it will be more efficient. Right, let's see, what do we need for the academy again? Upkeep of 85, yeah. So we're going to go into the negative if we build that. Which obviously we do not want. Um, right. But I could build it perfectly right there. <clears throat> That'd be great. Um, let's move this one up there. And we go up there. And we can do something up there still build something extra up there. Some bunk honey. They don't have eggs. Which I guess is fine. Over here. We can do some more honey production up there. Immediately to the market. There you go, that'll bring us. Oh, we actually have a surplus of 14. Oh, never mind. We're, we don't even need this one right here. Oh, jeez. <laughs> well, that's fine. We'll, we'll keep the surplus, I guess. I'd rather have too many. 
Um, right, 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 right. So what are the monks missing? The monks are missing more enlightenment things right now. That is really what they're missing for an upgrade. More enlightenment things. Like a monastery. But a monastery walls. I don't think I'll be able to do that one. That's a tricky one. Um, does it does it automatically make a an access point? I guess it does. Give it a shot. Um, <laughs> there's gonna be like no space to do that, but. There you go. Build a, we'll build that little thing. All right. <laughs> And uh, what are we gonna do there? Yeah, I can build one dormitory there. One dormitory there. One dormitory there. Build one there. Build one. Um, no. Yeah, we don't even have enough space for that. We only have enough space for three of them. There you go. That's all the space that we have. And the upkeep for all those walls are costing me more than it's earning me, it seems. Yeah, I can't even connect to that house, actually. Can't even connect to that one. It's giving me a little bit more money now, but that one is still not connected. Um, I guess we can do this. Does that work? Hey, that works. All right, cool. There's one way to do it. Awesome. All right, so they got they got that buff now. They also got a flower buff. Those two houses. Decorations buff. How to do the decorations again? Uh, how did I build those? Over here. Trying to build it somewhere where it's not in my way. I'm building something else. It's kind of difficult. It's a little difficult. Let's build it over there and build a road. And does that work? Yep, that I think that counts. Yep, the decoration satisfied. <laughs> so building a tree right there and a little road underneath the wall, it connects it up and that works. Sweet. I, this is really a waste of money, I think, but <laughs> I wanted to just test it out see how it works. Uh, and now we just need one more enlightenment thing. Which I guess the shrine would work for that. Uh, if I were to place that here somewhere. 
Hey, that works on both, right there. Boom. There you go, upgrade. Nice. Alright, yeah, sweet. Yeah, that's upgraded now. It's a level 2, just like these ones. But this one got an extra buff. Or not. Yeah, this one got an extra one right here. Well, oh, this one's got utensils. This one doesn't have utensils. Oh. Hold on. Can you reach it now? Not yet. We need to get the more expensive one. We really don't have the money to do that, honestly. Oh wait, we can actually uh, continue this one. There you go. I know we don't have much fertile land here, but just wonder. Uh, but I just wonder, what are you thinking about? Using barley for something other than flour? Yes, we could brew a little something, you know, to help keep the spirits high. And we definitely can. Cold, foamy, liquid gold. Perfect after a hard day of labor. Or just to make everything feel easy for a moment. Forget the important stuff for a second. Huh? No idea what you folks are talking about. <laughs> hey, Metallica fan. Good to see you. How are you doing? I see your... Oh, <laughs> okay. You retracted that message. Uh, let's see. What is this? Uh, we can upgrade that. Upgrade that. Cool. All right, all right, all right. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think upgrading the road is going to help me out much. It's going to cost me much more than it's going to give me. Um, let's see. So we have extra monks, which now means we should probably do the academy. Well, it cost me too much. The upkeep is 85. That's a lot. Yeah, it's a lot. Could we do a donation thing here? Do the monks actually help donate? I don't know if they do. I'm gonna get rid of these flowers here. And then see if the donation thing actually helps. Oh, it does. So the monks also give us donations. Nice. There you go. Well, that gives us a little bit more money increase again. Which will allow us to do... Another academy. Nice. Which gives us another research level, which unlocks a whole lot of new stuff for us. Money balance turned negative. Oof. That is no bueno. That is not good. All right. <laughs> we need more artisan, apparently, again. You doing well? Uh, you said a uh, short video, but the dentist. Oh, that one. Oh, yeah, that w I mean, that was all the way in, uh, in January. That was a long time ago. <laughs> You have a fear for dentist, uh, bad experience of it when you had your wisdom teeth removed. Yeah, I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. Uh, let's see, what else are we gonna do now? We need some more artisans. So we should get those like over here, probably. Yeah, let's get those like over here. Let's do a food distribution. Thingy. Go around. And to get some artisans going. Uh, it's gonna cost me more money. 
what does it cost me more money? It should cost me less. Uh, let's bring some honey over there. That one, there you go. It helps. Still have a surplus. Oh wait, I don't have a need for the honey yet. Not yet. Wait, but these do, right? Do they not want honey? Thought they did. Oh wait, the low the low lie uh, the lowlanders want honey. And not these guys. Oh, okay. Had that wrong then. Alright, and we don't have to send it to the fourth one, and that's not necessary. Uh, then we do have to send over, let's see. Uh, we can send over a surplus of this, which isn't a lot. It should help a little bit. At this research level, people require higher satisfaction. higher the research level, the more satisfaction they need? <laughs> yeah, that was done all the way in January. But that's a long time ago. Uh, let's see. Okay, this is... Um, hmm. I didn't realize the higher research level would mean... Would mean more stuff. The higher the research level, the higher the threshold for minimum citizen satisfaction. Right. Right, 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 right. Uh, well, that sucks. <clears throat> That's gonna make things more difficult for us. Uh, Alright, utensils over there. We don't have a commodity supplier here, of course. Jeez, okay. That one there, no road connection. F you, there's a road connection right there. Alright, there you go. So that should help those at least give one, right? No? Boy, this is bad. This is really bad. Lots of buffering? Really? I don't see anything on my end. This excellent connection here. Is anybody else also having lots of buffering? It says there's an ex excellent connection on my end. Um, okay, how do I fix this? We need more artisan. There you go, we have more artisan now. Which actually made the problem worse, it looks like. Great. <laughs> Instead of better. Um, they need fish. They need eggs. They need cheese. Okay. We can, we can get eggs. We can do that. Eggs we can do. Fill one egg thingy there. Oh god, we don't have enough money to build a, to build a road. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, that helped. Okay, we fixed it. This is so bad. Uh, I cannot connect there. It's too far away. We need to connect this. Oh no. Oh god. No, it's still not enough. 
Still not enough. Oh boy. How are we gonna fix this? Destroy some random stuff over here. There you go, that'll save us a little bit more money. Build the road. Connect to the market. It's too far! No! <laughs> Are you kidding me? Alright, then we do an improved road. Which will cost more, but... That might do the trick. It's still not enough. All right, there you go. All right. <clears throat> We're still in the negative. We're still in the negative, but not as much. Oh, boy. This is bad, chat. This is really bad. Build more artisans now. Will that give us more? Let's see. We don't have enough money for an artisan. Oh no. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? I don't know why I still have those there. Yeah, that saves us a little bit of money. A little bit. Which gives us enough money to buy... another artisan. Which doesn't do anything for us. I was hoping it would provide us with enough... income. Oh no, chat. I think that's it. I think that may be the end. Again. <laughs> oh boy. Um... No. Cannot get rid of those. Can I get rid of something? We have a surplus of we have a surplus of twelve honey. We can get rid of some of the beyond huh? hives. Get rid of some of those. Surplus of two. Gives us a bit more money again. here because they donate to the thingy there there you go it says we need 20 construction costs which we have 
But that would bring us down to zero, I guess, which is the problem. Let's get rid of this one. Oh, no, that actually costs us more money. Oh, hold on, never mind. I now break down. Oh, no, we lost it. Okay, that was dumb. We have a surplus of eight here. Which means we can get rid of one of these. We're back in the positive. Yes, we did it. We did it, chat. <laughs> we did it. We defeated the mighty negative balance. The worst enemy of the game. The strongest one. Oh my goodness. All right, that took us a while, but we, we got there. <laughs> yeah, I need a budget manager. Anybody? Anybody wants to be a, my, my budget manager? I really need one. It is necessary. Oh, man. Go to a bath house. Don't have any place for it anymore. We need to rearrange all of this. We're doing in the mysterious mist is the second most common reason for people to losing their way home. Inns are the first. <laughs> the emergency of Bath is a direct result. Uh, of yucks protesting the smell of their caretakers. <laughs> River nearby. Yes, they want they want a bomb. It's a bit it's a bit too much. I can't place it there if I get rid of those eggs. We get rid of those eggs and do them somewhere else. Um, like yeah, I can, I can just do them like right there, for example. Oh, negative, no, 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 no. No, back to positive, thank you. There you go. Destroy that. We can do a regular road here again. And then we can do a bath house, cost 21 upkeep. Build a river nearby. Um, should that not work right there? Upkeep, eight artisans. Does that not work? What am I doing wrong here? There's a river. I don't get it. What am I doing wrong? You got rid of the bridge? Yep. Built that one there. Mm -hmm. 
be doing it wrong. Move building. Do I need like a road there, maybe connected to it? No. I'm very confused. Why does that not work? And it, w it wants you to do it on the river, which I'm trying to do. But... Now it works over here. Why does it not work over here? Well, here and now it works as well. But why not over here? It's very strange. All right. Negative money right now. All right, so that was maybe was maybe not the best idea. somehow. Upgrading all those. We need more eggs again. Got enough utensils incoming. I'm gonna not build this one. We have 42 left. Oh wait, this is there was a piece of road there. Maybe that is why I couldn't do the bath house. It was a piece of road in a way. For some reason. artisans now. Why are we still losing money? If we disable the building, will that save us money? No. Wait, oh wait, it was already... Okay, enabling the building actually gives us money now. Okay, that's good to know. Still have a surplus of two right there. Surplus of one. Oh my goodness. This is crazy. How you doing there, Willow? Good to see you. Surplus of two. Surplus of zero. I'm, I don't think I can shut anything down at the moment. I don't think I can shut anything down. 
save us money. I mean, the one thing I could think of is replacing all the roads here. But I did that for a reason, didn't I? I don't know. It might cause more other issues, but for now we're back in the positive. There you go. We got a positive of six. <laughs> awesome. Six extra now. It ain't much, but it's something. Now we need cheese over in this area, it seems. We need some... Oh wait, no, we have... We have cheese. Yeah, we need utensils down there. That's what we need. 15 months of being a member. Thank you so much, Willow. For all the support. Appreciate it. Um... Oh, right, because that one is too far away. And that is actually why we might want to have better roads. Temporarily move this one over there. Let's move this one over there. Let's move those ones back over there. See, so yeah, that one can go there. Root already exists. Good. And now there's. Yeah, the consumption now is much higher. We need to build one more of those, but we're getting a good positive income now. There you go. Now we can build another one of these. And that one there, that one there, there you go. There you go, now we have 98 positive. All right, now these are happier down there. That's good. I just need to satisfy their spiritual need again. Of something else. Um, gone? I don't think we can reach that. Hmm. Thirteen up to. Right, that would lose us money, actually. Can improve those right now with how we have it set up at the moment. And we need two more food types. We need more prosperity. So we need cheese over here. Did we have a surplus of cheese? I don't think we had, right? We made six cheese over there. We're making six cheese over there. No, we, we do have a... We have, we have a lot of surplus of cheese, actually. We have a lot of it. Um, we actually just don't have a way of bringing it over to the other locations. That is the problem that we're having. 
Looks like we don't have too many eggs. Let's get rid of that egg. And let's open up card post. Stop sending cheese there, send cheese over there. And then that cheese go over there. Not enough? Stop sending that cheese there, send the cheese over there. There you go, we're still getting enough cheese for this colony, we only need one of them. Now we're sending two of them over to this one. Which is enough. Just. <laughs> By point one. <laughs> He's not actually making us any money, though. Not really. What else do we need to upgrade this? Any category. Or any of them. So either the fish, or bob, which is not possible down here, or ale, or decorations. Decorations possible. There you go, it gives us more money. Sweet! It doesn't do those. We need a little bit more of this. Uh, oh, I guess because they don't have a shrine down there. Let's do a shrine then over there. There you go. Oh yeah, here comes the money, baby. Here comes the money. 177 positive now, yes. Okay, we were having it rough for a while, but <laughs> now we're doing better. Sweet. All right, how about these ones? What are we missing here? Oh, an avalanche. All right, it's not, o not over on our side, luckily. Alright, luckily not over on our side. What are we missing here? We're missing any. Um, see, a flower decoration or a mandala or a gong. Well, the flower one is easiest. Let's do that one right there. And another one right there. There you go. Here comes the money. Money, 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 money. 300! Oh, yes! How the tables have turned! Oh my goodness. <laughs> we, we came from this close to losing the entire game. All the way back up to victory, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Sweet. Alright, we got 300 positive now. Oh. That makes me happy. Okay, what now? What can we do to continue this win streak? Well, first things first, I'm gonna save. And the second thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have the game run for a little while on uh, max speed. And I'm quickly gonna go take a little bathroom break. So I will be right back and then we're gonna be playing some more. Um, and, uh, yeah, make sure to get yourself something to drink in the meantime, hydrate yourself, and I'll be back in a minute, and then we're gonna continue playing.
Alright. Lots of bad rain. Um Oh, and there's a special event or something? Weather breakdown. People are scared. They need to strengthen their resolve. Provide 60 citizens access to a Mandela. I almost lost the game because I went to the bathroom. <laughs> Alright. Build one of these. Um, boy, that's a gong. That's not a Mandela. That's a Mandela. Is that 60 people though? I'm not sure. I'm not sure how many people live in here, in this area. Um, Alright, cool. Alright. <laughs> Can't even leave for a second to go to the bathroom. Without all, without all your peeping breaking down. Fearing for their life. Okay, let's see. What are we gonna do here? So we got that one now. Let's also do a... Um, Do a gong or two. There you go. It's gonna satisfy some needs. We need some more food, and we need another prosperity thing, which could be ale or flowers or whatever. Um, just because it's easier, I will do. Let's see. Can we do that one there. No. Expensive is that? 13 upkeep? It's quite a lot. Uh, 9. Hmm. Quite a lot of upkeep for a tree. doesn't share that buff, unfortunately. I don't know why. It's too far away, I suppose. We'll have to upgrade some more roads. Make them a little better. There you go. Maybe now he shares it? Yep, now he gets a decoration one as well. So now we just need two more foods. Which is easier said than done, because that's cheese and fish. Now... How do we get fish? I guess we have to go do that here. Um, near a river. Alright, we can do that at two locations, looks like. But I'm gonna have it send it over to the other side, which is gonna be tricky. So maybe I need to remove that. Let's remove that one. That works. There you go. And that one needs to go to the smoked thing, I think. Or does it immediately go to the market? like it immediately goes to the market. All right. Provides plenty of fish. Ooh. 
Maybe not plenty, but enough at the moment. Look at that. We've got some nice level, like, tier 3 housing now. Sweet. It's quite nice. All right, we got lots of artisans, 161. That's pretty cool. We still need ale. All right, how do we... How do we get ale now? How do we get that? Um, let's see. Oh, yuck races. Ale there. Ale production, textile production. It's for ale. We need a brewery. We need a barley field. We need a forester. Charcoal? I guess, yeah. Br okay, brewing the uh, barley, I see. Right, 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 right. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Can we build our post? Yes. So we can build that there, bring all the wood. Oh, not in range. Now it's in range. Bring all the wood there. Then we can go build a charcoal thing. Twelve wood needed. Make six gold. And we have twelve being made there. Yeah, three times the four. This is perfect. And we need 18 barley. It's quite a lot. That is quite a lot. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get that. 18. Because this makes only four up here. And we don't have any extra. Don't have any extra there. So we would have to go to another green zone, like down here. And get some more from there. Be careful because there is an avalanche area here. I wonder if this counts as another river. I mean, it's a bit steep, it's more a waterfall. <laughs> I wonder if it counts as a river where you can get more fish. Um, okay, what do we need again? <laughs> I forgot. Uh, Alright, let's see. We need... Yeah, we need barley. That's what we needed. Uh, how far can this one reach? This one can go that way? Alright, it's fine.
Uh, and then we need an inn as well. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so we'll do that one there. And the charcoal can go there. That's one of the things we needed then. Then we need barley. Yeah, so much to keep track of. Alright, go do this. Uh, try to be keep in, keep in mind that we have that avalanche to worry about. Um, there you go. Probably have to do some food thing here as well. Money turned negative. F you. We're gonna have to do some more lowlanders. Basic stuff for them quickly first. Basic stuff like eggs, for example. Um, let's see. We can do like one there, one there. I think one of them would have already been fine, maybe, but. there good now we have a little bit more positive again right uh, probably need a couple more though there you go that's good and we also need some avalanche protection Especially, I think we need it. I think we need it over here. Yeah, I've built three of those there. I think that'll be fine, actually. I think that will be protected. Maybe. Uh, oh, but this one cannot produce anything there. Yeah, we'd have to do it like this. Otherwise, we won't be able to produce anything with, uh, with that one. Which would be a shame. Alright, good. Avalanche protection over there. Um, I think we have enough lowlanders now. And that means we can do some more. Um, hail, barley fields. So we needed 18, which is three fields then. We need three fields. One, two, three. Um, you know what? Let's push it back a little bit. There you go. And then we'll do the hard posts. We need that one. Bring the barley over there. And then that one can go there. Alright. Um, are we not getting the oh, avalanche? Oh! Whoa! Please don't go down here. No, we're good. Ooh! That was a big one. <laughs> I was afraid it was gonna hit this bit. Alright. <laughs> um, let's see. Yeah, send the wood over there. There you go. We hadn't done that yet. So the wood is being sent from here over there. The charcoal is being sent over here. Yep. 
And then now we can build an inn. Over there. And then there we go. Oh, we're actually losing a lot of money with this. Um, alright. This ale tastes, tastes great, but now my head is killing me. I don't feel so good either. I don't really remember what happened just before we left the inn. Moo. <laughs> I did what? Oh, the youth of today. <laughs> Provide 80 artisan with access to a bar. Yep, we've done that already. Ahead of time. Have 10 monk dormitories on level 2. We've done that already as well. I was way ahead of them. <laughs> I was too powerful. Now we should take full advantage of the monk's potential. Uh, yes, we should start mass production of sacred artifacts and make tons of profits from selling them. <laughs> huh? What are you talking about? Well, you said it first, taking advantage of a monk's potential. I meant the spiritual potential of their enlightenment, enlightened minds. We need more places where they can meditate and pray in peace. Right. Uh, reach research level three. Right, well, we are already at level two uh, and we're losing money. We gotta be careful. Um, okay, why are we losing money? We have a lot of ale being made, but not a lot being consumed. So I guess we just need to make sure we have more customers then, right? Require ale. Uh, no, that actually seems to make me go into the negative more for some reason. What? How did that happen? <laughs> Very confused. Why is it costing me more money for some reason? Need more food? Need more cheese now. Can best do that at a lower level as well. Uh, how much do we need? Six mil. Right, let's see, this isn't producing nine milk. Oh, yeah, yeah, we need to do that thing again then. Yeah, so two of these to three of these. Two of these to three of these and then yeah. That's how that works. There you go. Connect that. One, two. Barrier post. Bringing it there. And now we need a card post. Bringing it to where we need it to be. Over there. Why are we so far into the negative right now? Like, seriously. What am I doing wrong? They need cheese. I gave them cheese. Why are we going down further and further? What am I doing wrong here? I don't get it. Let's get a donation thing going. There you go. That brings us back into the positive a little bit again. Jeez. 
I am not sure why I'm losing money there. It doesn't make sense to me. I'm building something to provide them with something they want, and it's costing me more money. How? How does that work? I guess because we have the lowlanders and the yucks. I guess that's part of the reason why. It's the only thing I could think of. Needing more of these. Compact yak breeding. She needs fodder. Um, all right, hold on. How did we make fodder then again? This yak breeder. Need the hay dryer. You're producing six hay here. So we can have one of these. Oh, that fits perfectly right there. Send over there. Send over there. Send over there. Perfect. And then we can go to the Yak Breeder. Send over there. There you go, now we got some more yet. Nice. Cool. And we also have a lot of unused... We have a lot of unused hay over here as well. Let's see, could we potentially... Not enough space there. Space is an issue. Space is a little bit of a problem here for us. Like there, it, there are tiles left, but I don't have a road that can go there. You gotta go, Solar. All right, see you later, man. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, and yeah, the same problem over here. I got a lot of hay here. I got eight hay that I could send. I don't have the space for one of those card bows. And I can only send. I can only send one item, right? Like I cannot send. Yeah, I cannot send multiple items to one storage thing, one card post. Which makes it more tricky. <laughs> Guess I could get rid of this one now. Would I place this? Hmm. These don't need eggs, right? Oh, no, they do. They do need eggs. Need eleven point nine to be exact. It's quite a lot. 
A lot of it is being sent through... Yeah, from here to that one. Unfortunately, it is what it is. Okay, uh, but where was I? Okay, we're making a good balance now. We make a 377. Good. Making good money now. Sweet. How can we improve this? We need more prosperity here. Prosperity items. that buff now as well and then we just need items that we cannot make yet we need items that we don't have access to we need a higher resource level for all of those except for the gong there you go give them the gong Now we need a resource level three. Somehow. Where are we gonna do that? Where are we gonna do that? We need to do that probably on a uh, yellow area, right? Because that is the best place for monks. We do still have a lot of space here. Maybe if we move these up a little bit. can build them in this area. Hmm. Let's see what we can do here. Let's move this one. Like, move that one up there. Move this one. that work? I don't know. I mean, there's only one way to find out. Would that be enough? Hmm. I feel like it wouldn't be that good. back a bit more. Bring that one down there. And maybe just in case build this one as well. Keep that one over there. that way. I'm not sure how bad that avalanche is gonna be. I don't know. But that means that now I can like, I want to change this up a little bit. 
Make that up there. Make that up there. There you go. So we have a little bit more space down here. A little bit more space down here. Then I want to do a... I don't think we can do a monastery yet, can we? Okay, so yeah, we need like the satyr stuff and... We don't have that yet. Crystals? Yeah, we don't have crystals yet either. Yeah, it's a bit too much at the moment. A bit too much at the moment. We'll have to make a deal with the monastery walls and, and all that stuff. Alright. How am I going to build this? I think first things first. Let's do this. Build an entire wall around it. Because that's what they want. Gonna be very costly. Every wall takes one coin. Upkeep. Alright. So now we got that going. We have a better idea of where we can play stuff. It's not ideal. Not really the perfect place for anything. I guess this is alright. So that one there. I'm just gonna keep it in pause mode for now, for the moment. We'll add a Mandela. We'll have to add a gong here and there. Let's place one there, one there. Maybe another one here. I don't know, I'm just like randomly placing them. Make sure it's all covered for the moment. I probably need some random prayer places as well. Or maybe that's taken care of already, I don't know. Maybe these already take care of that. Uh, and then monk dormitories. I'll start by building two of them over there. We cannot... Oh, hold on. We cannot do another one underneath there. I have to move that one down. Move that one down. Mm. Move that one. Oh, I thought we could move that one up again. No, that's not possible. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Bum, 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 bum. This is not the best layout. Uh, 
Definitely not. Definitely not great. It sort of works, I guess. Connect the road up there. over here which is gonna make us a huge profit upgrading these looks like sweet all right this is going fairly well it's going fairly well it doesn't look great but hey <laughs> it's uh, it's a problem for for another day yeah it's a, it's another problem not that bad it's not that bad yeah, we're upgrading them lots. What's the problem here? Satisfaction level dropped. Okay. Below current upgrade requirements, receiving monetary relief. Okay. So they need more food. Okay, yeah, we're lacking in Tampa. Uh, Tampa. Need more of that stuff. Okay. Can do that. Can get more. Which means we need more lowlanders. There you go, problem solved. And then this one we need to send again to. Do a trading post as well. Trading is the basis of a civilization, but traveling through mountains all the time seems a little extreme. Bring that one there. And then we can bring this one up there again. Nice. With a surplus of 10. We got one there, the rest of it. Nice. Alright, we're doing alright. We're doing pretty good here. Upgrade these. Sweet. 
We don't have a road going there. Oh, now we do. Cool. Oh, an avalanche. All right. Oh, okay. Nice. Into the trees. Okay. <laughs> I was worried for a little bit there. Hey, we reached level uh, level three research now as well. Sweet. That's done. All right. It makes me happy. Um. I want to do more monks, but we're not going to have enough food if I do that. So, let's not. Not right now. At 50 houses, all cast, level 2. Oh, we have way more. Good. Moo! Uh, what is it, sweetheart? There's something wrong. Isn't it obvious? The poor animal is hungry. And since when are, a yuck, uh, are you a yuck communication specialist? <laughs> oh, it really isn't that difficult. If you spend three days and three nights without food and water, everything around you start talking. Right. <laughs> Let's get to work then. How about providing our yucks with nutritious fodder? Hmm. Alright, have four compact yak breeders providing all possible yaks. Providing all possible yaks. What? Well, we have one of those already. Um, and we can make two more here. We actually build them a little bit further away. Send that one over there. Send that one over there. All right, good. So that's providing. Okay. Nice, yep, that's providing eight, hey? So I guess we just need to make four compact yak breeders in total. I guess that's, that's what I want, they want us to do. Can do that. Power of avalanches has increased. From now on, avalanches will be more devastating. Uh-oh. Well, that is not good. That does not sound good to me. Can we send it over there? Oh, it's way too far away, of course. I'm a dummy. Why am I building it so far away? Doesn't make any sense. Right, it has me worried a little bit. It has me worried a little bit, not gonna lie. Not in a range, for real. Alright, I need to build better roads. They're negative. Not in range again, for real? All right, there you go, now it works. It yeah, we went into the negative. We got more yaks though. All right, so that's three of them. We need one more. Uh, but yeah, the increase of avalanche is... Um... Ooh. I don't like that. That's gonna be a problem. That is gonna be a problem. I wasn't ready for that. Protects against both rushing mass of snow and prying eyes of nosy neighbors. Weakens avalanches or more powerful ones already weakened by tree cover. 
I guess we can try to build as many as possible over here. Oh boy. And maybe this. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna work, but uh, it's all I got right now. That's all I got at the moment. Check that little bit there as well. Maybe it will be enough. Maybe. Who knows? Alright, uh, we need more lowlanders. Get two of them perfectly over there. One more over there. Wonderful. Our negative in the money right now. That's not good. That is no bueno. Hmm. What can we do to improve that? We need. Oh! I think we have a very simple fix for that, actually. Placing some of these uh, shrines and stuff. Around here. Oh wait, we need essence for incense for that one. Never mind. Yeah, that one doesn't work. That one does, that one does. And then we have more people. I thought that would give us more money as well, but I guess I was wrong. I thought more people would mean more money. But apparently it doesn't. Um, cheesemaker, what's wrong with the cheesemaker? Not enough resources to send. All oh, right, because the uh, wait, hold on, hold on, I'm a little bit confused. Oh yeah, yeah, these were making cheeses, right, right, right. And we're giving to both that one and this one, right? Okay. See, now we don't have enough cheese to send over to that one. That is the problem. I see. I see what's going on here. Okay. Then we need some more cheese. Again. And we need more of these. building a mess right here <laughs> but it's gonna work I think maybe all right yeah so that one carrier post that goes to the carrier post those goes there and then those go over there again. Actually, I didn't have to... Did I have to build that one? Um, I'm not sure if that was necessary, actually. Could I, could I send this there? No range. Okay, yeah. Yeah, not enough range to get there. Okay. See, I did have to do another one, unfortunately. 
yep. Yep, 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 yep. It is what it is. Alright, and then that one there. And there. Okay, good. We're still losing money right now. Um... Let me fix that. We need utensils. We have a surplus of two utensils right now. There's not much. Oh, we could make so many more though, but we use all of this space for the monks. I there's so much to learn. There's so many mistakes that I'm making right now. I am making a lot of mistakes because I'm not using this space properly. I should have used this space for making more copper things. And just make the monk area somewhere else. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm wasting all this space at the moment. I think what I, w what I would have to do in another playthrough is I would really have to try and make each area for one for one people only right like right now i have lowlanders here only which is good and then this one is kind of a little bit of lowlanders and mostly artisan but also a lot of farming i think i should have used both of these i should have used both of these for lowlanders is what i should have done i think and then I should have put the artisans up here, maybe. Or maybe I should have just tried to move all the way over here and put artisans over there instead. But I feel like artisans over here would have been better. Because you need artisans, which I have already. Uh, you need artisans for like this stuff, for the copper stuff. So it would have been a good idea to put the artisans over here. Then I could have kept monks over here, I suppose, or also artisans. But I maybe put most of my monks over in this area, maybe, the large area. Which also has an avalanche on top of it. Which may not be ideal. But that is a massive area for a lot of stuff. And we could definitely build like the monastery there and proper monastery uh, like the walls and stuff you can actually use those properly over there or this area this is also a nice area which it seems i don't think there's an avalanche there because this avalanche goes down here i don't think the avalanche goes down this way so this is a safe place i believe for a uh, monastery and stuff and we got rock, we got copper as well. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, definitely a lot of mistakes in this first playthrough of this uh, early access build. This game came out into early access yesterday. Uh, it's on a 20% discount if you want to get it. I highly recommend it because I'm having a lot of fun with it and I want to play more. Uh, but it has been four hours right now. So uh, I will have to end the stream right here for the moment. And oh man, I don't know when I will be back playing this more uh, because I also want to do more Stardew Valley. I also want to go back and do another Dragon's Dogma or two. Um, maybe if I'm awake tomorrow, uh, earlier than, you, than the last couple of days, I'll do two streams. Maybe I'll do like an, an early stream of this game, or maybe Stardew Valley, I don't know. Uh, probably this game, early. And then I'll do Stardew Valley at my uh, usual time at 8 p.m. I think that may be a good solution to the uh, problem. We have too many good games to play. <laughs> and there's also another game that came out today, actually, which is called um, Infected Free, Free Zone, which is like a zombie survival uh, where you have to 
where you have to build up a colony in a city and like you know search houses for resources and defend yourself against zombie uh well infected waves i'm guessing haven't seen a lot of gameplay on it myself but that's another game that came out today so there's too many games to play at the moment and uh, not enough time <laughs> but yeah i'll try i'll try to play some stardew valley and this game maybe tomorrow if i'm uh, away early and then infect the free zone maybe the day after with maybe dragon's dogma uh too i don't know we'll see Thank you guys so much for being here hanging out. Hope you guys enjoyed the stream. And I hope to see you all tomorrow for some more.